At the beginning of a type certification process, the planned activities must be classified. The classification of a design is necessary because the nature of the certification process depends on the scope and complexity of the planned design activities. A distinction is made between the design categories major and minor. All design activities are classified as major if they have a noticeable influence on mass, trim, structural strength, reliability, operating characteristics, noise and exhaust emissions, operational fitness, or other features affecting the airworthiness of the product. All other design changes are considered minor. The most important difference between minor and major is that minor changes may be approved by the design organization itself, whereas design activities classified as major are approved by EASA or National Aviation Authorities. Classification is carried out within the design organization by the Office of Airworthiness. The following illustration from the EASA guidance material is used as a guideline for classification. In the first step, it is asked whether the above criteria are fulfilled. In a second step, it also plays a role, for example, whether a renewed or extended showing of compliance is necessary or whether the changes are to a critical system. If there are doubts about the classification, the authority should be involved in the decision. If you want to know more about the classification of design activities, have a look at your QM documentation if your company has a 21J approval. You will find a procedure for this. Give us a call or send us an email if you are interested in this e-learning.